My book's read from cover to cover. It's art time! With Mr. Mayberry. Let's get busy! Welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Today we're going to design a cover for a book. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. Okay, for this project you'll need a book. A hardbound book will work the best, possibly even a textbook. Um, you also need a pencil. You'll need scissors. You'll need a ruler, a yardstick or a long um, straight edge, and something to color with, whether it's crayons, color pencils, or markers. And you'll need a piece of paper. Now the paper will need to be large enough that it will cover the book. So the size of your book might depend on the size of paper you have available, or if you have a larger book, you'll want to find larger paper that you can work with to cover the book. Um, I'm going to go ahead and measure my book first of all. Um, it's five inches this way, so that will be front and back. That'll be ten inches that I need that amount, plus the width of the book, which the spine is about an inch. So that's eleven inches. This paper is twelve by eighteen, so that gives me seven inches more than the front, spine, and the back. With that seven inches, then that would give me enough to have three and a half inches for the inside flap on the front and three and a half inches for an inside flap on the back. So that's going to work out perfectly. So you do want to have a little bit more than what the the size around the book is. Okay, so you want a little bit more paper than that. Um, after I have it determined that I have enough of the width then I can go ahead and this, you notice this paper is too too tall for the book and rather than, you, you could do this a couple ways, I can measure the height of the book which is about seven and a half inches and then make a mark on either side and draw a line, you could do it that way or what I'm going to do is actually just draw kind of center the book here, line up the bottom edge with the bottom edge of the paper and then just kind of draw a line across the top edge, so right across here. Okay, lightly, and then remove the book, and then I can continue that line with this straight edge with the ruler, the yardstick. Line that up, and I can continue that off across both sides of the paper past where I started. Okay, so that should be about the right height for this paper all the way across. Then after I have that, I can go ahead and cut that out. So I'll cut on this line. Now, of course, the, the purpose of the book cover or book jacket is, number one, to protect the book from being damaged, the original cover from being damaged. And it's also, this, the second purpose is usually to... Uh, make the book more interesting to look at um, so that it might attract people to buy it. Uh, a lot of times they'll have more information on the cover than what you, on the book jacket, than what you would have nor on a normal cover. And so that's part of what we're doing today is we're designing that book jacket or book uh, cover to attract people's attention to what's in the book. Okay, now um, you want to have Again, it's going to be about three and a half inches, and I could measure this all out. Uh, probably the best way to start this is actually to find the center of the book cover here of the book jacket. And so I'm going to measure over. I know 18 inches, half of 18 is 9. So I'm going to mark a little line here at 9 inches. And I can do that both bottom and top. So that's going to be the center where the spine will go down and so what I'm going to line, I'm just going to do this you can measure everything out or you can do like I'm doing and just kind of um, we're going to make an estimated guess here is what we're going to do so I'm going to take it and set it right in the center and I'm going to fold up on the edges so on the right side first I'm pressing along the bottom here then I'm going to do the same thing on the left Okay, and I want to press along there, make a crease where the edge of that book is. Then I'm going to open, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to start with the front flap. And I want to fold this over 
So it goes down inside and then fold it back flat. And then I'm going to give a little bit of a pull here to make sure it's snug and then do the same thing on the back. Okay, and like I said, you can measure that out. This method's a little quicker and it'll yield pretty close to the same result for what we're doing. Okay, so then I have it in the front and back and then I can go back and press along the corners so that it, it uh, sits flatter against the book and it folds better on these edges. Also, it'll define where the edges are so we'll know what space we have to work with when we do our drawing and writing words and, and things like that. Okay, so there's the cover. That's what it's going to look like. Except I'll have a lot more information on it. <laughs> okay, so next what I can do is take it back off of the book. We'll set the book aside for a minute. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to press down on all these folds that I have. So they're more defined so I can see them better. Because it's going to be important, like I said, when we put the words and things on, that we make sure they're on there in the right spots. Okay, so I'm going to go back and refold all of these creases. Now, here's a trick. What I'm doing is I'm lining up the outside edges and then folding it flat here where this crease was right here. Okay, same thing with this. Okay, so all the edges have been well defined. So now I can see them a lot better because of the creases. Okay, now let's look at the different areas and what will go in those areas. This part right here is actually the cover, the front cover of the book. So usually you want the title and maybe a picture. You could put the author's name. Um, then on the back, a lot of times you'll see a picture. Uh, it could be a, syn a synopsis or description of what's inside the book. Or in mine, I'm going to use like book reviews, people that have read the book and what they have to say about it. And then the spine, you'll put usually the title and the author going sideways. And, and what might help you is to actually take some other books that you may have around and look at them and look at the book jackets and see what other people have done as far as like the direction of things. Uh, some books, you'll have them go with the title going this way. Most of them, I think, they're turned this direction so the front of the book would be on top and the words would go this way. Sometimes they just go straight up and down even. So you can look those over and look, look some books over and get some ideas. Then on the inside flap, you'll usually have some information, maybe again about the book or about the author, things like that. Um, so now comes a, now you know where things go, now comes the creative part. You have to decide what is your book going to be about. Are you going to take an actual story that you've read? It could be the, the story that is in the book that you're using, or you could use maybe another story that you know and make a cover for that. So maybe the, if this is a, a book that you've done a book report on or a book that you really enjoy reading, you can make a cover for that. Um, you could also just make up a book, come up with an idea of something you think would make a, a fun book uh, to read, something that you could write a story for. So those, those are some of the options, but once you have decided what information you're going to put on the book cover, then there's different ways to go about it. Number one, you could just draw everything out, write everything out and color it. You can do what I've done and, and uh, actually type out your information and print it out and cut it out and then glue it down, paste it down. And if you do this, the neat thing about doing it this way is your letters look all nice and neat. You can use different fonts, um, different styles of lettering, and it, it's just a matter of getting things the right size to go in that place. Okay, and let me show you. Um, I did that with a lot of the information that would go on the book, and I lined everything out first of where I was going to put it before I actually glued it down. I wanted to see that everything was going to fit right, everything was going to look nice. And then after I knew what I was using and where it would go, then I went back and glued everything down. And let me show you what that looks like. 
here's the front cover and I'll put this on the book here in a second but I, I glued everything down try to glue it straight and then I went back and like my drawing colored it in this drawing colored it in um, and I made sure that these fit in the right spots and then you could color the whole thing like a solid color I did it this way so you could see what I was doing a little bit better um, let me go ahead and put that on the book and show you what it looks like on the book and then let's talk about that for a second okay and this is what it looks like okay on the front I've got the title of the book I decided to make make up a book so this isn't actually a story that's been written I just thought this would be fun this is a a book about making a book cover <laughs> okay so I gave it the title of got it covered how to make a book cover and then I have a picture of this book on the book and then if you look closer it's got the title and everything and then it's also got a smaller version of the book on there and on there there's a smaller version of the book so it's one of those things that just keeps going and going and going uh, down at the bottom I have the author which is myself by Mr. Mayberry on the spine of the book the side of the book here I've got again the the title uh, larger and then the those rest of the title here how to make a book cover by Mr. Mayberry on the back I've got a picture of a boy and a girl reading this book and so there's the book and also a couple book reviews here the book's not that great but the cover is awesome and that was written by Mr. May Puppet then you have also anything made with folded paper can't be all that bad and that is a book review by Origami Time with Mr. Mayberry.com um, I have my logo here at the bottom and then on the inside cover, on the front cover, the flap on the inside, we have the price, how much this book costs in U.S. dollars, $4.24. And then it says, like making book covers, then you'll love this book. It has everything you need to know about making really neat covers. Filled with pictures and step-by-step -step instructions, this book is a valuable resource. So it tells a little bit about the book that you're going to read. So if you saw this in the story, this might get you interested in actually reading the book. Also in the back flap I have information about the author, which is me. We have uh, a picture of me, a cartoon picture. Mr. Mayberry grew up on a farm in the country. He has been making book covers for a long time. This is his first cover about making book covers. Okay, so that's the finished product, what it could look like. Again, be creative, have fun, take your time, do a good job. Come up with an interesting book cover. And that's our project for today. Making a book cover. Now that you have a cover for a book, why not write a story to go with your cover? Well, thanks for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you later. Hi, bye. Hmm. I wonder if you can judge a cover by its book.